Hey ho, hey ho, it's off to work I go. Posting 16 videos a fucking day, I'm going insane. I'm sorry for that. I apologize. So everyone, as we know, Taddy posted a video earlier today. It was a 40 minute long video and she was exposing her involvement in the Bi Sisters video that she posted last year. She very much so exposes Jeffrey and Shane without showing evidence, but her reasoning for not showing evidence is very clear. She's obviously been threatened legally. But she says she will show it, and everything she did say, I believe, and everyone on the internet is very much so believing right now. So Taddy said that Shane manipulated her, that Jeffrey manipulated her, that Shane was very much so involved in creating that video, and very much so pushed her to make that, and that Shane was shit-talking about James behind the scenes. Now, we know this is true, because Shane Dawson has been involved in quite a number of little controversies recently. A pedo scandal. The Smith family are attacking him for being inappropriate to their underage daughter at the time. A bunch of racist stuff and just every single problematic thing you can think of Shane Dawson is being exposed for right now. So in all of that, he is ignoring everything. But you know what? Taddy posts this video and he's straight on Instagram Live. I did a video where I reacted to the Instagram Live. You can go watch that, but it was a mess. He's angry. He is unhinged. That man needs help. And in the background of it was Ryland. Now, Ryland is Shane's fiance. There's a number of controversies already around Ryland and Shane because Jeffrey unfollowed Morgan, Ryland's sister, and Morgan has completely disconnected herself from that side. So now Ryland's family are obviously pushing Ryland to make a decision. You either choose Shane or you choose your family. So, and then there were clips of Ryland not wearing his engagement ring anymore. And so it's a bunch of mess. In the background of Shane's Instagram live while he's screaming at the TV and being so unhinged and problematic still you know he said he's changed But he's still doing this shit Rylan was in the background like Shane end it go off stop Shane take yourself off Instagram live Like Rylan was so angry that he was on Instagram live as anyone would be but at the same time Rylan is now involved in all of this because Rylan is supporting Shane's behavior and past behavior by being in the same house as Shane and just defending him all around, but also still staying in that relationship and being ignorant to the fact that everyone's against him right now. So after Taddy posted her video and Shane went on Instagram Live, a bunch of tweets came from Rylan's account. Now I'm going to read them out to you. Everyone is split. Everyone doesn't know if Rylan tweeted these or Shane tweeted them because Rylan doesn't seem that aggressive, but these tweets are very aggressive. So Shane obviously wouldn't tweet these on his account, so... We'll read them and see. Taddy Westbrook, a master class in manipulation. The only was to save... What bad grammar. The only was to save her reputation was to side with the person she tried to ruin. Make no sense. Who the fuck wrote this? Did a fucking child write this? Make no sense. This 40 year old woman chose to post a video on her own accord. She riled up Shane before doing so to have one of the biggest creators backing her in the chance this all backfired. Shane very well would have posted a video exposing James had he felt so inclined. No receipts because she didn't want to expose the countless times she told Shane that she was a big girl doing this only for herself. Now already with that I see a bunch of issues. The typos, this was very badly written as well. Now whether this is Ryland or Shane we do not know. It is very aggressive which is leading me to believe it is Shane on Ryland's account. And also Taddy Westbrook on Masterclass Manipulation, Shane you are the one who manipulated everyone. You manipulated your fans into buying a pallet. You manipulated your fans for years to support you with an ever-changing backstory. And you manipulate your audience by currently playing this I'm poor, sad, depressed, I have nothing kind of life that you show in your videos so that people want to support you even though you have millions of dollars in your net worth and also you live in a million dollar house. So make it make sense. Shane, are you poor or are you a millionaire? Because you're not relatable. Shane tries to be relatable so they can get more clicks by saying he's purr. That's not something you'd be all, I'm relatable about, you little dick. And to say the only way to save her reputation was to side with James is completely ignorant. Because no, she let this go on a year. She got dragged in the worst of her attacks and everything within the last year. So she would have done this back a year ago, but she didn't. She's doing it now because she's taken herself away. Remember, she went on like a month break. And she evaluated what is right to do. She's now said that she's friends with James as well and that James wanted to do this video sitting down with her. So saying that the only reason she wants to save her reputation is doing this video now siding with James is bullshit. And that Shane went on an Instagram live like <laughs> like panting around and be like, I don't know what to do. This girl's a bitch. This girl's a manipulator. Shows that Shane is the one in the wrong here, Ryland. So make it make sense. Should I call you daddy, Ryland? You know the way Shane gets you to call him even though he has a bunch of pedo scandals? And the fact they went this 40 year old woman, Ryland, us, 
The people who make videos exposing y'all are allowed to make fun of your age and highlight it. Not you! <laughs> Stop taking our power away! And so Rylan saying this 40 year old woman is so incredibly funny to me and so ironic because Shane is in his mid 30s and is a grown man! So where is that same for him? You know what I mean? It's not our fault, Rylan, that Taddy aged so much better and that Shane's so, you know, ugly. I didn't say that. I meant aged not as well. Like, Taddy is glowing still, so... I just thought that was ironic. Saying that she riled up Shane so she could have his support in the chances backfired is absolute bullshit because Shane was never there for her. And we know that even without her showing receipts. Shane doesn't back up anyone. He only backs up Jeffree Star. Jeffree Star is the only person he will actively not go against. Taddy went against. Trisha, he will go against. He has no loyalty. So why are you saying Shane was backing her up? Because no, he wasn't. Fucking bullshit. And saying Shane very well would have posted a video exposing James had he felt inclined well, supposedly he did behind the scenes and he was getting everyone else to do so. And Ryland, don't be a little pussy bitch. You know that Shane got Taddy to make this video so that he didn't have to deal with the backlash. They promoted Taddy when she posted this video. Congrats on this amount of million subscribers, babe. She hit another million. Congrats, babe. All these pictures, selfies with her. But whenever it started backfiring, they dropped her like that. So Shane did not want to do that. He did a series right after that. So fucking make it make sense. He did a series with Jeffrey after this. In no way was Taddy trying to make this video. Shane was trying to make it, but he didn't want to make it himself. And saying no receipts because she didn't want to expose the countless times she told Shane she was a big girl only doing for this for herself is bullshit because even if she was doing this for herself, she was pushed to that point by Shane. And Taddy literally has a legal document that she's reading in her video that her legal team advised her to say. And she said, if you want me to show more, I will show more in the future. So stop pulling this one. You're only saying that now because it can help you in the moment defend yourself and Shane. Hmm, how embarrassing. Hope you enjoyed those sold out vitamins that you made millions in minutes from Shane's support, you two-faced liar. So now you're bringing this back to the vitamins, which Taddy said in her video, it wasn't about. Even if you're talking about a restock, you're bringing it back to the vitamins because you can't defend the main topic, so you have to go to the subtopic, which is the fucking vitamins that nobody gives a shit about. And saying that she got millions because of Shane's support is absolutely so ignorant because didn't Shane use her drama, videos of her crying without her consent in his trailer then made millions of dollars off of a trailer because people watched it anticipating that drama. He made millions off of that so you saying oh Taddy made millions off of Shane's support well Shane made millions off of not her support. She didn't support that yet he made millions off of her. So Ryland argument doesn't do anything there. Little pussy. Pussy pussy pussy. And saying you two-faced liar is so funny because your fiance has so many ever-changing timeline of events. Check yourself and your own family before you start attacking other people. Isn't your sister currently going against your fiance and is now back home again because she doesn't want to associate with any of you, allegedly? <laughs> is money really the be-all end-all, Ryland? And the final tweet says, Not today, motherfuckers. Do not tre me right now. Ooh. I'll not try you right now. So yeah, I believe either Shane wrote these or Rylan wrote these in a really bad way. Whoever wrote them, so bad at grammar. And they obviously wrote them in the heat of the moment really quickly and not proofreading them because there's so many mistakes, lack of commas, doesn't make sense, goes back on itself didn't proofread, didn't think of how it could backfire on them, so you know what? They just keep imploding it within themselves. Like, we don't even have to do anything. We literally just have to sit back and they do stuff themselves. We don't have to feed them information like Jeffrey does. Literally, Shane and Rylan can just cause drama on themselves. And you know what? For them to be able to do that, like, because that's a fucking talent. Like, you're able to create drama every single second. Even when you're acknowledging someone else calling you out, you can cause more drama. Where's your fucking PR team, you twats? Get off your hole and pay someone to be your PR. Cause Shane having Ryland as your PR is doing nothing for you. And Ryland having Shane maybe write your tweets is doing nothing for you. So everyone, what's your opinion on Ryland doing them tweets? I thought it was so fucking funny. And the fact that there is so many spelling mistakes and stuff just shows that they really wrote them so quick. And you can imagine Shane being like, <laughs> going around and saying like, I need water, I need Diet Coke, <laughs> you know, going around and taking it. So they literally weren't like, just like that out of breath, like, <laughs> Because if you're hyperventilating and that's scared that someone did a video about you and you're like, you bitch, you manipulator, I think you're the one who might have the problem here. Taddy cried in her video and was very stable. You're on Instagram like, you fucking bitch, like, <laughs> like 
from an outsider's point of view, Shane, you're very guilty right now. And Ryland, if you're gonna come on tweeting here about Shane, why aren't you gonna talk about all the pedo scandals and the Smith family calling him out and all the numerous racism scandals and the other problematic stuff? Why aren't you gonna acknowledge that? Why is it an issue now? Because all that stuff's real? Is it? And now that Taddy's done something that you know's real as well, you have to come out and lie? Because there's no defending the other stuff? Aww. Seems like you're in a very sad position right now, but I don't give a shit. So everyone, again, tell me what you think about Rylan speaking out. Like, Rylan probably posting them like, I snapped. Like, shut the fuck up. Okay, so I love you. See you in my next video. And, oh, fucking, whoa. A lot to handle.